Hi, and welcome back to the Hicks Homestead YouTube channel. My name is Wade. Here we are on the homestead. Uh, it's a really hot, humid day in southeast Georgia in August. And it's also hurricane season, which explains why this is redneck engineered. So let's get into, first, the portable power station. Uh, this is an, uh, a Pecron E3000, or EP3000, uh, basically 3 kilowatt hour battery pack. So it's a 48 volt battery pack. Uh, and it has the ability to output uh, 30 amps uh, of DC. And I tested the output. It's 13.4 volts uh, continuous coming out of, of the outlet. So kind of where you would see your 12-volt your uh, power supply coming in, in your car. So it is currently connected to this little APC inverter up here, which we're going to get to in a second. But let's go over some of the features of this because I haven't really seen a review on the battery itself. So over here on this side, you've got your extra uh, battery ports that connect your extra batteries in. You also have your state of charge over here and you have your battery address. So if you have a big old stack of batteries, you got to make sure you have the right address. And uh, some of my other videos uh, talk about that. So this right here is your little battery indicator button you push that if these are not lit up and I know the camera refresh rate makes them look like they're all flashing but they're not uh, right now I'm greater than 75% less than 100 and we are currently charging from a single on this end right here 400 watt bifacial solar panel uh, checked the voltages um, I'm not going to exceed the voltage that is in the manual, which uh, comes here. Let's quickly go over the accessories that the battery comes with. Um, you have this, which I'm currently using to charge. This is an input if you were to try to charge this, I guess, from your car, because the lowest input's like 12 volts. So theoretically, you could plug this into your cigarette lighter in your car and charge it. You have this, which is the 12 volt out, which I cut these alligator clips off and wired it directly in here. Uh, you have this right here, which is a 12 volt out, and it is a little cigarette lighter. You have another input for your solar that has the uh, Anderson connectors on it for 30, 30 amps. And then this is another solar input that has that type of connector. If you're going to do a really small portable solar panel or something that would already have like the 5512 uh, connector on it that's what that is for and it comes with a little screwdriver to uh, change your address on your battery so let's get into hurricane season and why this is the way that it is um, if you're following the channel uh, I did a video about um, my E3600 LFP, I have three more of these batteries uh, sitting in my bedroom right now. And the uh, main power station, the inverter board, uh, had a, a short circuit and failure. I sent that back to Pecoron a little over a month ago. Uh, they received it a month, of, a month ago yesterday. Uh, they told me the repair was going to take like three weeks. And... I sent a follow-up email right at the 21-day mark. I got a reply the next day, and the uh, customer service person told me that uh, she'd have to check with engineering and see what the status was. Uh, haven't gotten a response back. I sent the follow-up email this week. Still haven't had a follow-up response uh, regarding status. Hopefully, the next status is, hey, it's fixed. It's on its way back to you because it's hurricane season, which leads to this crazy setup. If you ever been through a hurricane, like in my case, I've been through Hurricane Katrina, and uh, if you stay tuned to my channel, uh, I'm going to start uploading historical videos from 20 years ago where I was, uh, what I was doing during Hurricane Katrina. So, no spoilers, uh, you get to watch it completely unfiltered, just like this video is, 
uh, as it happened. Um, so hurricane season's coming, and nobody likes to be in a hot house and be sweaty. Uh, obviously, this little thing's not going to run an air conditioner. Uh, its output's only about 255 watts. Uh, this single fan here, and we'll turn it on just to show you that it actually works. Fires right on up. It's a little slow to start because this really can't handle a high surge. So this may be the, the limit for surge on this thing. Otherwise, it would uh, trip offline. So we have this fan on. And you can see that it is running it without, without an issue. Uh, you've got three kilowatts here. And this is not beeping. I'll zoom in here, get close. And you can see that all it's doing right now is just flashing. Uh, it may let out a beep. It may not. I haven't uh, had it in this setup for more than about 15 minutes. But I'm assuming as long as the battery doesn't go low voltage, this uh, should not uh, beep. And there is no AC going in. So this replaces this. This big battery replaces the little battery because these are about half the price of one of these and I'm not going to buy another one of these. I would just buy a whole new one. So that is the setup, that's running. And this does have enough power to power my security camera system. Um, if I go over here, uh, my Starlink antenna that's up there and even if, even ham radio stuff, if I were to unplug this and plug in one of my ham radios, th this battery itself would run one of my ham radios. And as you can see, it is charging simultaneously while outputting 12 volts. So that's a question I know some of them had about the E3600 LFP. If you could charge with solar and output at the same time, it's pretty much what they're designed for. And this right now is demonstrating that you can do that and have a 115 volt AC power supply. Uh, I checked it, it's about 116 volts right now with the fan running. And a little bit of math, assuming that this is at least 10 per, or 90% efficient, you're looking at running uh, your fans all day, all night, as long as you get a little bit of sun and your 400 watt solar panel. So, thanks for watching. Don't forget to give it a like and subscribe if you want more unfiltered, disorganized content. Thanks for watching.